Hi friends, welcome to know about Viva. Today in this video, we are going to see about the how to register for a free domain and free name and how to host that free domain name in Infinity Free. Yes, of course, this is the most awaited video. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can use free nom so that it's easy for you to get a free domain. It's absolutely true. You can get free domain from free norm and that problem can be solved using this method so please make sure to watch the steps so that it is easy for you to get a free domain and free hosting okay with your own custom domain itself you can also create a free domain with the subdomains if you want to create a free domain you can also use infinity free itself but uh, there will be an extra sub your domain will be an extra subdomain over there so if you want a custom domain, you need to get it from free norm as well as .ck or anything else over there. Okay. Now, I am going to show you from free norm and infinity free. So, before starting that, if you are watching this channel for the first time, we always welcome you to know about the YouTube channel fully about digital marketing and passive income stream. And soon, I am going to create a video regarding how to install SSL to your website. I am going to... Uh, show you how to install SSL certificate for this website uh, in my next video so please make sure to watch that also okay under this know about the youtube channel you will be getting videos regarding uh, digital marketing and passive income stream okay here you will be getting this regarding make money online niche uh, youtube tips online tools of your program posting reviews and coupons uh, these affiliate program youtube tips and make money online are coming under that passive income stream if you are in the business you can use these three playlists to get it out there at the same time, if you are start willing to start any hosting review, then you can come over here and start to review these hostings. Uh, at the same time, you'll be getting some coupons uh, and you can discount, the, you can get a discounted hosting review, hosting. Uh, so that's easy for you to get some extra cash cut out while you are start building a website for hosting the first time. Okay. And at the same time, you'll be getting free traffic. Uh, then backlinks and design your own website and how to create a custom website using Elementor video like that over there. Then themes and plugins, the free themes, free plugins, how to use things, how to use plugins all the way over here. Then under this Facebook marketing, I'm going to use regarding how to use Facebook for uh, earning money and Facebook marketing, Facebook pages, all those things will be available soon. And under this blogger, we'll be getting videos regarding how to use blogger basics and this is WordPress basics. Okay. Now, if you are into this uh, niche, then please make sure you subscribe and the bell icon so that you will be get notified whenever we are creating such videos at the same time. If you like this, video please put like a share to the friends if you have any questions regarding this video or any other video in our channel please comment the comment section wordpress as much as possible even though if you have any small doubts regarding wordpress as well as the blogger or as well as any blogging platform please comment the comment section wordpress as soon as possible now let's jump into the video first and foremost thing is that you need to head over to free now. before opening free now, what you need to do is open your chrome browser after opening the chrome browser there will be a three dots over here okay in the three dots you need to open a new incognito window mode okay you should if you are opening a normal window you will be getting a white color background if you are opening a non a new incognito window you will be getting a black color background okay this incognito window is nothing but this window won't save a history okay that is won't save your password and won't save your history. This one is the most important window. If you want to do any changes while you are updating your plugins or while you are updating any uh, themes over your website, then you can come over here and you can use this incognito mode. Okay. This mode is most recommended by every hosting company also. So what you are going to do is first of all go into new incognito window mode after that you can uh, just head over to the search bar and type as google.com after that you will be getting this uh, google now I will show you how to use this one also I am just going to click on this google.com now it is opening now so what I am going to do is just click on this and search for free now now it is opening after opening it what you need to do is just head over and sign in with your social account or Facebook account or anything else. Okay, you can see I have already signed in with my account or else you can even create an account with uh, free norm itself. It's all based on your wish. Okay, after signing in, you will be able to find uh, this one after, under, under the services. You will be going to register a domain. After going there, you'll be able to find this find your domain over here. And here, I'm going to type here as 
ceramic okay please make sure to watch the steps first of all you need to select incognito window and then go to free now and then sign in with your account over there after that you need to go to services and after going to services you need to type like uh, get over for register free domain and then you will be getting the free domain list you can start selecting this and you can select this ceramic.tk and then click on this checkout after clicking on this checkout what you are going to do is you can forward this domain or you can use dns at the same time you can change the period also okay if you want to use for 12 months at free you can use it okay at the same time if you want to use a one year for usd dollar 10 also you can use it over here okay and i'm going to use it for 12 months for free or else you can make it a six months free it's all based on it i'm going to make it a six months free and then click on this continue button after clicking on this continue button it will be automatically going to the shopping cart and here you can check it out okay now let's click on this i have read the agreement and after that complete the order okay now let's uh, wait for some time to get it completed now thank you for your order you will receive order in order email shortly and receive any confirmation email shortly and your order number is this one okay now what we need to do is just click on this click here to go to the client area now after going to the client area you will be able to see this song domain and here you can click on this my domains after clicking on this my domains you can see this ceramics.dk is my domain over here and this is the expiration date I have started on 191 and it is expiring on 719. That is 197. It's a free domain and here. This is the most first steps for creating a free domain. After that, what you need to do is just head over to Infinity Free, sign up for free with your email account and all those things. Okay. You can open this Google again and you can search for Infinity Free and then you can just sign up with your email account over here okay here client area and all those things available over here you can use this client area or else if you want to sign up now you can click on the sign up now button after clicking on the sign up now button it is opening here but if you because i have already logged into this if you don't if you don't want means you can log in uh, you can uh, create your email id and password these two things will be asked over there you can just join it over there okay you can just create an account over there after creating an account what you need to do this is the client area of that one so now click on this plus a new account okay after clicking on this new account it will be asking you to choose a domain name right so after that if you want to use a free domain name or sometime it is etsy.in okay or else org or or of gd if you want your sub if you want any subdomain for free you can use it as well as you can add it over here okay here you need to add a domain add infinity free non servers before you can use it okay now here what we are going to do is just head over here and then click on this one in the ceramics.tk right so what we are going to type it here as ceramics.tk after that you can click on this for search term now let's wait TK, TK domains are banned on free hosting due to abuse. So what we need to do is we need to buy another one domain so that uh, it's easy for you. Okay. So now let's uh, get over here and find another one domain. Let's uh, get over here and register a new domain over here. Okay. Now I have purchased the ceramics.ml like the same thing over here. So after that I have added the custom domain over here. After adding the custom domain it's asked me to fill the subdomain name here also. Now let's click on this uh, search domain over here. Okay. After clicking on this it's easy for you. The domain is created over there. So what you need to do is you can uh, use account name, account, account username is generated automatically and account password. You should use it over here. Okay. Now, after creating this epiz dot uh, this domain, okay, this is a subdomain that is website 
for ceramics.abc.com is available over here if you want you can use this it's a subdomain over here if you want you can even uh, upload you can even install wordpress and start creating landing pages using the ceramics so what we are going to do is we need to create uh, create uh, under the ceramics.ml right so what we are going to do is just click on this create a new account over here and again we are going to add this uh, free uh, add this custom domain over here okay under the same custom domain here you need to type the ceramics.ml after that you will need to click on the search domain now it is showing this domain is available website for uh, ceramics.ml will be created over here and i am going to give the password after giving the password it will be showing you that the name servers are not pointing so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this ns uh, one dot fc dot com. Okay, we are just going to copy this. Follow this step. This is the most important thing. After copying this name server, head over to this client area of this uh, free norm over there. Okay. After going to the client area, what you need to do is you need to head over to the domain which you are going to use and click on this manage domain. After clicking on that manage domain, you will be able to find this type of information over here. So let's click on this management tools and click on this uh, name server. Sir. Okay, after that you are going to use the custom name server. Here we are going to paste it over here and again we are going to paste it and we are going to paste it for 5 times. Okay, after pasting it for 5 times what we are going to do is we are going to change the number as NS2, NS3, okay, NS4 and NS5. After that click on this change name servers. Okay. Now the changes have been successfully finished. Say it successfully. Now what you need to do is now after coming over to infinity free just refresh this. After refreshing this you will be able to find the account label over here. So it is showing you that it is not at pointing over here because after changing your name server the domain register you should wait for few hours after that you can create an account over here okay after creating that account it will be like this apis.1 apis.2274 the same thing will be shown over here here it will be showing you the ceramics.ml okay this is how it will be showing you okay the same this is for subdomain the same thing goes for your domain will also be showing you so please make sure to wait for some time and after that your account will be created after that account created what we are going to do is i am showing you how to install that wordpress in your dashboard right so what i am going to do is just click on this open the control panel after clicking on that control panel it will be asking you to visit a panel over here you can just log in it okay here you can see the important notice to notify changes in study status and click on this I approve button. After clicking on this approve button, now the panels will be start loading over here. Okay. Now the C panel will be start loading. So wait for some time. Okay. After that, what you need to do is just head over down. After that, you will be finding the software class app installer okay just click on that after clicking on that software class apps in sub installer it will be loading this one okay in this if you want to use any cms you can use it over here i am just using wordpress if you want to use joomla presto shop or anything else you can use it over here this free version is also offering you many things like this if you want you can use it i'm just going to click on this wordpress and click on this install button i'm going to scroll down and click on this install now now it will be asking you to fill the protocols okay if you want to make it as an https also you can make it https slash www okay you can make it like this here you need to choose a domain okay here a trusted access certificate is not found if you want you can add it over here let's make it as http www Okay, after that, here in directory, if you want me to add any directory, add it over here. Then site settings, uh, my blog, my WordPress publish calls can be done, can be done over here. Then uh, admin account and then password over here. Okay, you can you should change the password over here. After changing the password, you can select the classic editor as well as uh, there's a select this is a loginizer that is uh, reducing the login attempt over here. 
and here also you can choose any type of uh, theme which is available over here and click on this select and then click on this install button after that now it will be automatically submitting your data over here. You can see here that WordPress is successfully installed. You can see that gdp.ceramics.org is available over here. Let's click on this one and it will start loading you over here. Okay. Now you can see the same blog. The same thing you need to do for that ceramics.ml also. So wait for till the name server was updated. After that you can use the same steps to install the WordPress. This is how you are going to use free norm and infinity free. If you like this video, please click the subscribe and share with your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.